this is the last cigarette he'll ever again smoke. He said, we're going to blow you up to mine, a war floor mine. Anyone didn't say anything. We were moved out into the yard and out, mashed into a lorry and made a life flat down in the lorry and taken out to Belly CD. We arrived out in Newa. The language was, was abusive language, was, was, wasn't too good. But one fellow called us Irish bastards. And he was an Irishman himself. But uh, one of our lads asked me to say his prayers. He said, no prayers. He said, the old fellas didn't get any time for prayers. And he says, maybe some of you might go to heaven. He said, you might meet old fellas there. And they tied us thin, our hands behind our back, and left about a foot between the hands, like in the next fella. In the circle, they tied us in a circle in around the, around the mine. And they tied our legs in and the knees as well, with a rope. And then they took off our caps and they said we could be praying away now as long as we like. So, the next fellow to me said his prayers and I said mine too. But I still kept watching for a day I went like. It was that that saved me afterwards. But uh, he said goodbye then, and I said goodbye, and the next fellow picked it up, and he said goodbye, goodbye, lads, and up it went. <laughs>